Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is fifth class in second order derivative. In this class, we will learn two problems related to second order derivative. You see this problem. If y equal to 3 into cos of log x plus 4 into sin of log x, then show that x square y2 plus xy1 plus y equal to 0. First, I'll take the given curve. What is the given curve? Given curve is y equal to 3 into cos of log x plus 4 into sin of log x. Now, you observe what we want to prove. We want to prove that x square y2 plus xy1 plus y equal to 0. You observe here, what is y2? y2 is second order derivative. What is y1? y1 is first order derivative. So, <clears throat> to get y1, I'll differentiate this complete equation with respect to x. You differentiate this complete equation with respect to x. So, here what we will get, I'll write one step here, that differentiation step, d by dx of y equal to d by dx of, I am just differentiating given equation with respect to x on both sides. Derivative of 3 cos log x plus 4 sin log x. 4 sin log x. Okay. Derivative of y with respect to x is dy by dx. dy by dx means first order derivative. Here y1 is what? First order derivative. So this is what? y1 equal to. How we differentiate this? We differentiate each and every term. Derivative of 3 cos log x plus derivative of 4 sin log x. Derivative of 3 cos log x. I'll write here what is derivative of 3 cos log x. As 3 is constant, we can take that 3 outside the outside. Now, derivative of cos of log x. You imagine this log x as x. You imagine this log x as x. It looks like cos x. Derivative of cos x is what? Derivative of cos x formula is minus sin x. So this will be minus sin of log x into derivative of log x. Which one you imagined as x, you need to differentiate. Derivative of log x is 1 by x. I hope you are understanding. To do this problem, you must know chain rule differentiation. So what is derivative of 3 cos log x? 3 is constant, take it outside. Derivative of cos of log x is minus sin of log x into derivative of log x. Derivative of log x is 1 by x plus derivative of 4 sin log x. So as 4 is constant, you write here 4 into derivative of sin log x. You imagine this log x as x. Then it looks like sin x. Derivative of sin x is cos x. Here x is log x into derivative of log x is 1 by x. You observe here, we need x y1, x y1. You can see here, in this term, 1 by x is there. In this term, also 1 by x is there. Please observe this carefully. In this term, 1 by x is there. In this term also, 1 by x is there. So you take 1 by x common and you take x this side. Then what you will get? You will get that x y1 equal to minus 3 into sin of log x, sin of log x plus 4 into cos of log x. Okay. You observe what we need to show that in that second order derivative is there. Till now we differentiated only one term, one time. So we got first order derivative. Now you differentiate this complete equation with respect to x on both sides. Differentiate d by dx of x y1 equal to derivative of minus 3 into sin of log x plus 4 into cos of log x. Okay. Derivative of x into y1. Here we use product rule. Derivative of x into y1. What is product rule? 
डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ यू वी इज वॉट प्रोडक्ट रूल यू इंटू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वी प्लस वी इंटू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ यू वी नो दिस प्रोडक्ट रूल सो हियर डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एक्स वाई वन इज वॉट एक्स इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वाई वन डी वाई डी एक्स ऑफ वाई वन प्लस वाई वन इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एक्स इन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड आई अप्लाइड प्रोडक्ट रूल फर्स्ट फंक्शन इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ सेकेंड फंक्शन प्लस सेकेंड फंक्शन इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ फर्स्ट फंक्शन इक्वल टू यू लुक हियर हाउ वी डिफरेंशिएट वी डिफरेंशिएट ईच एंड एवरी टर्म डेरिवेटिव ऑफ माइनस थ्री इन टू साइन ऑफ लॉग एक्स प्लस डेरिवेटिव ऑफ फोर इन टू कॉज ऑफ लॉग एक्स डेरिवेटिव ऑफ माइनस थ्री इन टू साइन ऑफ लॉग एक्स एज माइनस थ्री इज कॉन्स्टेंट यू टेक इट आउट साइड माइनस थ्री इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ साइन ऑफ लॉग एक्स हियर यू इमेजिन दिस लॉग एक्स एज एक्स डेरिवेटिव ऑफ साइन एक्स इज कॉज एक्स वॉट इज एक्स हियर लॉग एक्स इन चेन रूल डिफरेंशिएशन वी नो दैट विच वन यू इमेजिन एज एक्स यू नीड टू डिफरेंशिएट इट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ लॉग एक्स इज वॉट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ लॉग एक्स इज वन बाई एक्स प्लस डेरिवेटिव ऑफ फोर इन टू कॉज ऑफ लॉग एक्स एज फोर इज कॉन्स्टेंट टेक इट आउट साइड यू इमेजिन दिस लॉग एक्स एज एक्स इट लुक्स लाइक कॉज एक्स डेरिवेटिव ऑफ कॉज एक्स इज वॉट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ कॉज एक्स इज माइनस साइन एक्स सो हियर इट इज साइन ऑफ लॉग एक्स इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ लॉग एक्स यू इमेजिन लॉग एक्स एज एक्स so derivative of log x is 1 by x you see this term in this 1 by x is there and you see this term in this also 1 by x is there so you take 1 by x common and x you take it to this side and x you take it to this side what you will get you will get that x into okay x into derivative of y1 with respect to x derivative of first order derivative is second order derivative y2 Plus y1 into derivative of x with respect to x is one, one equal to here as we taken one by x common and that x is taken to here. So what is remaining? Minus three cos log x minus four sin log x. As the minus is there, I'll take minus common. So what you will get? You will get that three cos of log x plus four sin of log x. Four sine of log x. Okay. Now you multiply this expression with x. What you will get? You will get that x into x is x square y two plus x y one equal to minus. You observe this. This whole expression. This is nothing but y. This whole expression is nothing but y. So here I'll write y. Now you take minus y two. This right left hand side. What you will get? You will get that x square y two plus x y one plus y equal to zero. So we proved what is required. It's a very simple procedure. Only the, only the thing is you need to know all the derivative formulas and you must know chain rule differentiation to do this problem. Now we'll try to understand the second order derivative with one more problem. You see this problem. If y equal to five cos x minus three sin x, then prove that d square y by dx square plus y equal to zero. D square y by dx square means second order derivative. So to do this problem, first I'll take the given function. What is the given function? Y equal to five cos x minus three sin x. You differentiate this with respect to x on both sides to get dy by dx. d by dx of y equal to d by dx of 5 cos x minus 3 sin x you see here derivative of y with respect to x is nothing but dy by dx equal to derivative of 5 cos x minus 3x 3 sin x how you differentiate this we differentiate each and every term derivative of 5 cos x Minus derivative of three sin x. As five is constant, you take it outside. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Minus derivative of three sin x. As three is constant, you take it outside. Derivative of sin x is cos x. You observe here d square y by dx square. So we need second order derivative. So 
I will differentiate this equation with respect to x on both sides. d by dx of dy by dx equal to d by dx of minus 5 sin x minus 3 cos x. I am differentiating this equation with respect to x on both sides. Derivative of dy by dx, derivative of first order derivative is second order derivative that is d square y divided by dx square equal to derivative of minus 5 sin x minus 3 cos x is nothing but uh, how we will differentiate this? We differentiate each and every term. Derivative of minus 5 sin x minus derivative of 3 cos x. Derivative of minus 5 sin x as minus 5 is constant you take it outside. Derivative of sin x, derivative of sin x is cos x minus derivative of 3 cos x as 3 is constant take it outside. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. So if we simplify this d square y by dx square equal to minus 5 cos x minus of minus plus. Uh, I will take minus common here we will see what you will get. You will get 5 cos x. Actually minus of minus is plus as we take a minus common this will be minus. You can observe here minus 5 cos x plus 3 sin x. So as we take a minus common inside the bracket we got that 5 cos x minus 3 sin x. You observe here what is 5 cos x minus 3 sin x. 5 cos x minus 3 sin x is y. d square y divided by dx square equal to minus y. From this, you take this minus y to this left hand side, what you will get? You will get that d square y divided by dx square plus y equal to 0. Hence, we proved what we want. I hope you understand these two problems. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.